Hey folks, it's Ray from DCAmerica.com here to give you your very first look at the new Hammerhead Karoo. This is the new GPS bike computer. It's based on Android. It's got dual AMP Plus as well as Bluetooth Smart Connect connectivity, it's got touchscreen, it's got mapping, uh, Wi-Fi, cellular, uh, it's pretty cool stuff, all packed in this, this basically smaller bike computer, about the size of like a Polar V650. Um, now I'm going to walk you through the entire setup, uh, basically all the sensors, how routing works, kind of the data, data fields and data pages, uh, and just some of the basics. It's not coming out till August, um, so this is sort of a very initial preview of things. Definitely hit up my post down in the description field for all the details. With that, let's get started. Okay, so here we are on the unit itself. Uh, on the back of it, you'll see a standard quarter turn mount. This is compatible with all your existing garment mounts, which is pretty nice. That way you can go ahead and use whatever third-party mounts you have. In this case, a bar fly. In fact, they're actually gonna include a bar fly mount within the box itself, uh, which is pretty nice. On the side, we've got some buttons right there. We've got a micro USB charging port in the bottom, as well as um, more buttons on the side than that left-hand side. Uh, and keep in mind, again, this unit is running Android uh, below it, so you have the flexibility that Android comes with it, which is, is pretty nice. Here is the main home page, so we can look at activities, uh, profiles. Profiles is where we can dive into customization for different ride types. In this case, they're different names, but this could be road ride, triathlon ride, whatever you want. So I'm in case I'm gonna do uh, DCR, or just this particular profile that I've set up right now. I can change data screens in here. Um, here are our main data screen and days I attempted to type data, but I failed. Um, so I'll create another one called C for sea otter. Hit okay at the end there, there we go. And I can go and add data fields to that. So I can go and choose, for example, distance, uh, add another data field, I'll go into speed. Um, and you can see how quick and responsive this is. This is, you're not usually get something like this fast on most of the units. So heading on back here, out of the data screens, uh, you can, oops, sorry, here we go. Back, you can see other options that I could set there as well in the profile. That's something that as time goes on and you know they kind of move from beta into production, those will of course increase, but that's just sort of a, a preview of that. And back on the main screen here, we'll talk real quick on sensors. I can pair sensors, both AMP Plus as well as Bluetooth Smart Sensors. You can see right now I've got a Wahoo Cadence sensor paired to it. I could search for other sensors around me. I don't think there's any others right now handy, but uh, you can see that I saw this pair earlier to the Wahoo Cadence sensor without any issues. I'm gonna go ahead and go back. Let me go back again. And then we're gonna go and choose a particular profile uh, and route, just if I were to go ahead and wanna route somewhere. Um, now, I can do that when I start a ride, and I can also just double check my routes right here as well in this kind of routes listing. So these are routes that are both close by as well as not close by. Everything I've got stored on my unit itself. But again, I'm gonna go back here, we're gonna start a ride. So go down to the bottom, and I'm gonna choose there. So I'm gonna choose my name first. Uh, in this case, DC Rainmaker. I'm gonna then choose a route. So I'm just gonna choose uh, something nearby-ish. Let's see, what's nearby? We'll choose a, we'll choose this one right here. And then I can choose a workout if I wanna do a structured workout, and then I'll hit start down the bottom there. And it's gonna bring me to the data fields that I have configured. There we go. So now you can see uh, the main data page that I have, and this would have had power, if I had a power meter attached to it, time, lap time, distance, uh, and so on. So kind of the basics there. I can go and swipe right and see my other data fields. Um, so there we go. I have uh, the two one. Now from a routing standpoint, uh, those will be integrated together into one kind of experience, but for right now it's, it's separate in this, in this prototype. Um, so I'm gonna click the H1. So here we are in the routing engine. Uh, what you can see is it's pretty easy to route. So I've got this map I can move around. It's pretty darn responsive. I can go ahead and just simply, that location's where we are right now. I can choose to go down to Pacific Grove, for example. It makes a little circle. I can hit the uh, little conf confirmation box right there and it chooses the route right away. I mean, it's very, very quick. I can go down further down the coast here. Let's just choose, I don't know, something like right there. Confirm again, add that to our route. Uh, it's gonna keep on adding these points as I see fit. I can zoom in a bunch. We'll add just a place along this road, this valley there, Carmel Valley. Again, add that to the route. Uh, and then I can go back up the top here. Let's go back up and zoom towards the finish area where we were, we started up here. And let's just say we're gonna finish there as well. Add that. And it's gonna complete that loop. Um, it'll also show us that elevation up the top there. So you can see that uh, 4,600 feet in elevation gain. I can tap this there, oops, on the side right there. And I can see that entire elevation uh, plot there as well, which is pretty cool. So, you know, obviously it's gonna be one heck of a ride with some pretty solid hills in there, but uh, neat stuff. With that, that's just a quick look at the, uh, the new unit from Hammerhead. Uh, neat stuff, definitely hit up their website. They're gonna have more details on exact pricing and availability of that, uh, and some more of the tech specs, of course, as well. Again, this is just kind of a quick preview of things. Uh, I'm certainly looking forward to giving it a shot out on the road uh, once they're ready to do that. 
With that, thanks for watching. Like that like button down at the bottom, as well as the subscribe button. That way you get all the latest sports technology goodness as soon as it hits. Have a good one.